remember just one word, the one word that makes it all possible, and that word is sell. I want you to get out there and sell, sell, sell. I want you to sell your socks off. I want you to sell. What is up, guys? Thank you so much for checking out another video, guys. I really appreciate that. If you could just hit that like button, that would be awesome. And if you're new to the channel and want more videos on precious metals, make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell. So guys, why are so many people selling their silver? And uh, myself included, if you remember about a month or two ago, I posted a video of me saying I'm selling 90 percent of my silver now i wanted to give you guys a little bit of, the up, of an update on that and also kind of defend the people that have posted videos saying that they are selling their silver so on top of that i'm going to make a prediction and i'm also going to tell you why a lot of people are selling their silver so i've gotten a lot of messages i've actually even gotten emails from people that want me to help them sell their silver so i'm going to explain to you what's going on all right so, um, you know, I posted saying I was going to sell 90% in order to start a business. And I ended up selling probably around 50% and then had to kind of chop the head off and slow down and stop. Uh, we ran into a couple issues with licensing and uh, there's a couple family problems. We have some health issues that we need to take care of before we can move on. So that business is on the back burner. And, uh, you know, I sold 50%. I recovered a majority of that already, actually, uh, moving some of it into gold instead of buying all silver. So I moved some of that 50% silver into gold, but I've also recovered a bunch of silver too. Not fully, but still. So, you know, that is something that happens with business. Any of you guys that are in business knows nothing is for sure. And sometimes you don't see things coming things happen and you know you got to put it put it on the back burner so eventually i would love to start this business but i honestly don't know when it's going to happen we we really need to take care of some things before we can get into it but for the most part a lot of you guys were extremely supportive so i appreciate all you guys and then of course we always have to have the negative people you know saying that it's not the time and you know it's not smart and but in a negative, very negative way. I'm putting it in a nicer way. And uh, those comments make me laugh because, you know, <laughs> you have no idea what the business is. So I don't know how you would determine it's a bad idea to do. I know everything that's going on. We have a pandemic, we have a lot of things, but uh, there's businesses still thriving. What if I were to say I was starting a, a ventilator business? That'd be booming right now, right? So you don't know what the business is. So that made me laugh. I just wanted to say that. Um, but anyways, guys, look, you know, obviously the timing of when I was selling was done on purpose. We had silver that was up and, you know, you want to get the biggest bang for your buck, obviously, if you're going to go ahead and sell. And I knew silver was going to go up still even further, but I really wanted to start this business and the timing was right for the business. So along with the silver price and the timing, it just felt right. And just like anything else, you never know what could happen and it ended up falling through. But no harm, no foul. In my opinion, no harm, no foul. Still got silver, still got gold. And you know, it was worth a shot and that's it. Now for everybody else that is posting these videos say, saying they're selling their silver. Now I've, I've talked to some of them and I've also gotten messages I've gotten emails from people that want me to help them sell their silver. So uh, I've read a lot of the comments on the other people that have posted videos saying that they're selling their silver. And it's really disheartening to see so, so much negativity. And I just wanted to say it takes a lot of courage to be able to post a video, especially if you have a silver and gold stacking channel to say that you are selling your silver. It takes a lot of courage. And a majority of the people that were really negative and kind of you know, putting these people on a stake and lighting them on fire in the comments, 
don't have a channel. So they don't know what it's like. And just like this channel is just as much of educational channel, uh, you know, uh, inf whatever, informational channel, whatever you want to say. Uh, it's also a vlog. It's my personal vlog as well. So for me to post a video saying I'm selling my silver takes a lot of courage. And it's not to win anybody over. It's just to document my stack, right? And I'm sure it's the same for the other people that posted their videos. Now, they could have easily just sold their silver, not say anything, but they wanted to share it with you guys. And I think it's very wrong for a lot of people to be so negative about it. Almost as if they're telling you, you need to sell your silver, get rid of your silver. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna take your silver and sell it. By them selling their silver, it affects you zero. So I don't get why people were so offended. And this community has never been this way, guys. I, I've been involved in this community for a long, long time. And we've never had so many whiners, almost like whiners. I gotta, I gotta say that word, whiners. <laughs> uh, complaining about someone selling their silver that they bought, that they held with their own money. Uh, it's just ridiculous to me and wrong, my opinion. So from what I've heard from a lot of people messaging me, emailing me and all this stuff, why they're moving from silver, they are actually either, there's two different reasons. We have people that are cashing in on some profits. And to be honest with you, it might not be a terrible time to do that. If you are behind on bills, I mean, there's people that are not working. Uh, if you want to catch up on some credit cards, I, I mean, there's a lot of reasons why you would cash in and take some of the profits off your silver that you've been holding in order to get cash and pay some bills. I mean, why not? And then we have the others that are actually moving into gold. And I think a lot of us in the silver community especially forget that not everybody can just get into gold. It takes time and sometimes you gotta get into silver heavily first and then move into gold because gold is obviously a lot harder to budget for. So a lot of people are selling their silver and going into gold. And uh, there's nothing wrong with that. Silver is viewed by a lot of people, especially people that don't have as much disposable income as many others as the stepstone into gold. And I made a video about this before. So I, I personally, you know, like I said, it's your stack. It's your business. So if you want to sell your silver for profit, it's really not anyone's business. And those negative comments should not be happening. You know, why can't people just be positive? That's my, my view. You know, you do what you want to do with your stack and they do whatever they want with their stack. That's it. So we got people moving into gold. Now, a couple predictions. We had Bank of America and this is on mainstream media. And I don't know how influential this is on a lot of the people, but... Um, Bank of America has stated that they believe gold will hit $3,000 an ounce in the next 18 months. And uh, I've read multiple different articles saying that silver will eclipse the $30 mark by the end of August. Now, my personal opinion, my prediction, obviously no one knows what's going to happen. So I'm just uh, predicting on my own and, you know, don't take it too serious. But this is just a prediction. I think gold will eclipse the $2,000 mark before the end of the year and uh, probably have maybe like one or two pullbacks, but I think it's going to eclipse the $2,000 mark before the end of the year. And I think silver is also going to eclipse the $30 mark before the end of the year, maybe with one or two pullbacks. It really depends on how fast silver gets to 30. You got to remember whenever there's a quick rise, a very sharp rise like we had when silver shot up to 26 something, um, you gotta expect a pullback. So you gotta kind of wait it out a little bit with the buying. You don't wanna really start buying when that spike is happening. You kinda wanna wait and see if there is a pullback and then start buying. And of course there was a pullback. So um, just you know, keep that in mind for future, You know, if it starts to go up. We have a lot more volatility in gold and silver than we have in a very long time. So you gotta be really careful on your timing with buying, especially since a lot of the dealers are tied to the spot price of gold and silver. So you wanna make sure 
that you're buying sort of on the dips. We're not going to have any really hard dips, but you know, you want to make sure that you're buying at the most optimal time, right? So, okay. So anyways, guys, um, that's why a lot of people are selling. People are cashing in, taking the profits. You're holding silver for five years and all of a sudden you finally see some uh, headway. We're getting some profit. So people want to cash in on some of that, not necessarily selling all their silver, but uh, some to, you know, do things in the real world, which is pay some bills, you know, take care of some credit cards. Who knows what they're doing? But there's nothing wrong with cashing in and taking your profits. Now, I also want to share with you guys on this video, and I'm sure a lot of you are going to be upset with what I have to say, but guys, you know me. I tell it straight the way it is. You like it. Awesome. You don't. That's too bad. <laughs> that's the way it is this is you know there's tons of other channels that you can watch that do these videos but I'm gonna tell you guys straight what I believe so um, this is something that I have done since day one and I kind of had to because you know I've mentioned it before I got into silver and gold at a very bad time in 2013 uh, 2012 and you know silver started coming down fast right as i got in so i had to get my feet wet with selling almost instantly and this is something i have done and i didn't make a lot of money when i first started and i didn't have a lot of disposable income at the end of the month in order to buy this is another way you can fund your stack guys and this could be why some other people are selling their silver so this is uh what i call the the profit triangle so this is something i i've always done never stopped doing this since day one like i said and you know some people are willing to do this they have the will they have the want and they don't have the income to really stack the way they want this is another way to supplement your silver and gold stacking and i see absolutely nothing wrong with this and this is very frowned upon in the community and i just don't understand why and i feel like it's almost like a jealousy thing that some people don't have the time, the will, or the want to flip coins or make profit off their silver and their gold. But this is a really important thing for the community too, not just for the person doing it. So I'm gonna show you guys the basics and I'm gonna show you how to increase your margins um, when you're doing this. So look, you buy, you sell, you get your cash profits and you turn that into more metal that's the basic of it right so let's say you don't have a lot you do need a decent amount of capital to get this started but you can work your way up so let's say you start at 250 and your goal is to have 500 dollars continually buying and selling right so you work you do this until you get to 500 that that was your goal i always want to have 500 dollars in order to do this so until you hit that 500 you just keep doing this triangle over and over and over until you get to 500. Once you get your, your goal of 500, every time you repeat this cycle, whether it's a week, a month, whatever it is, the surplus of 500, so let's just say you make $100 in a month, let's just say, right? You got 600. You take this 100 and that's what goes into your personal stack. All of a sudden, you turn gold and silver into another supplemental way to make more money and supplement your stack. There you go, that's it, that's all it is. Now, for the margin part, it's hard to get started. You should work with an LCS, that's the best way to do it, but if you wanna go the dealer route, there's ways to uh, kind of increase your margins, and they're gonna be small, but like I said, if you have the will, the want, the, um, what's the word I'm looking for? The ambition to really start stacking more than you could afford by just circulating a portion of the money that would have normally gone into your metal, then you will make a little bit of extra money and fund your stack and go a lot faster. So the dealers we got, look at this, ready? A lot of them have a threshold for free shipping, $100, most of them, right? Amex, I think is the only one right now at 200, but normally it's $100. There's people that cannot afford to spend $100 at a time. Let's say there's a $25 coin that they want, but they don't have enough to make that $100 threshold. You know what they're gonna do? 
not buy it at all and wait till it hits the secondary market and hope to get it cheaper then, right? So that's usually what people do. So if you can buy $100 worth of stuff, you're already increasing your margin, one, because there's people that cannot do it. So you can buy that way. Then you got the cash discount, and this is probably the best discount you can get, 3%. Most of the dealers give you a 3% discount. Now here, you gotta remember, there's people that do not feel comfortable putting their bank information on these websites. So if you are comfortable, you're willing to take the risk and put your banking info, you've already made 3% on your buying in order to sell because there's a lot of people that just don't wanna do it. So you got 3% margin right there. You couple with this and we're talking maybe, I don't know, four or 5%. Then you got volume discounts, which for the dealers does not work out very well. Gotta be honest, you need to buy a lot in order to get this volume discount. But if you can get to that level, then there's more margin in the volume, ordering in volume that people cannot order. So if you're ordering 100 coins, most people can't afford to buy 100 coins, you have achieved that volume discount and you can get it cheaper and that's gonna increase your margin, right? Now, if you go to an LCS and you work with them, the prices are better and you know you know what the going prices are. So if you can buy in bulk, you buy in cash, there's different ways you can haggle with the LCS. But for the dealers, this is what you wanna do. Another thing on the volume is if you buy on eBay, some of the dealers on there or the coin shops that sell on there offer all kinds of volume discounts starting at just two coins. So if you buy two coins, you're already saving money. You buy three, you're saving money. You buy four, five, six, it goes up to 10 sometimes. Uh, and you'll see that the, mar the, the price starts going down the more you order. And once again, it's the same thing as all this right here. There's people that cannot afford to buy five at a time. There's not uh, people that are willing to buy five at a time. So they're not gonna get that discount, they might pass. But if you do, that gives you the margin to uh, make some profit. Right, And then on top of this, there's also eBay bucks. So if you can get that, forget it. Now we're talking five, between five to 15% margin because you're getting five to 15% cash back on those eBay bucks. So there you go. I'm giving you guys the formula. So if you're willing to do this, uh, not only are you making extra money, but you are networking within the community, you're involved in the secondary market. And I think what a lot of people are forgetting also is the secondary market is very important, guys. If we don't have people selling silver, trading silver, flipping coins, the secondary market is going to crash. And guess what happens if there's no circulation? The price is gonna go down, the demand is down, everything's gonna get cheaper, and we don't want that. We want the price to go up. We want that continual circulation, right? So it's actually doing a service for the community by coin flipping, by uh, buying, selling, trading, putting it in the secondary market. It's actually helping the silver price. It's helping the demand. It's helping a lot of things. Uh, it's a necessity. If the secondary market comes to a screeching halt, then, I mean, what are we doing this for? The price is never gonna go up, right? So uh, it's very important. The secondary market is very important. So, but anyways, if you wanna know more about that, just shoot me an email, uh, you know, it, I made a video on the harsh truth of selling. Yes, it is very hard to get started. It's very hard to uh, get recognized as a trustworthy seller and uh, it's difficult, but you know, not only are you making a profit, but you're already building a reputation as well. So when you are ready to cash in on your gold and silver, you already have that reputation. So um, anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video and uh, you know, I just wanted to say I appreciate those guys with the courage to post those videos and I just wish it was more well received by a lot of the community. Uh, we're supposed to stick together, guys. We are part, a very small percentage of the population that actually buys gold and silver and we're all in a way doing our part to keep gold and silver relevant and the price moving up and staying solid. Um, we don't want the price to crash. I mean, if if it crashes, then, I mean, what are we doing, right? So we want that, and we're supposed to support each other. So that's really what I wanted to make this video about and um, get those wheels turning in the brain, get those brain cells. This is a discussion, and not everyone's gonna agree, that's fine. 
But uh, I just want to uh, let those guys know that have admitted to selling their silver that I fully support them. And that's all. All right, guys. Thank you so much for checking out this video. And I will talk to you guys later.